your girl, hey. Sorry if you can't hear me because the AC is on. I'll try to speak a little louder, but it's hot and it's humid. It's not really hot, it's humid. <laughs> and I need this AC on. But anyway, today is my birthday. We're not doing anything huge, really, because it's not a really big birthday. And we also have many days where my husband and I are off, so we are gonna just be celebrating for the next four or five days. But we have already gone to brunch and like an outdoor jazz music live festival <laughs> um, at Lincoln Center. Lincoln Center because there's some free jazz underground something my husband found and you all know how I feel about jazz and my husband's always finding something for us to do. They also have this big disco ball in the middle of Lincoln Center that's kind of messing up the vibe but whatever. <laughs> I know they do it every so often um, at Lincoln Center during the summer. But we had so many things that we wanted to do this week. We wanted to go to the outdoor movies. I love the outdoor movies in New York during the summertime. And it was it's just been humid and rainy and gross. So hopefully for the next couple of days we'll be able to get outside, do some other stuff. There's an air quality alert again, so we're not gonna be outside that much today. But we are probably just gonna go to the museum, maybe go to the movies, get some food, nothing too crazy. So right now we're gonna get something to eat like breakfast and then we're probably on our way to the museum. Hey girl, hey. It's a million degrees and my hair needs to be done. That's why I have on this hat. <laughs> but um, for the rest of my birthday, I just didn't vlog. I just wanted to enjoy my birthday, so that was pretty much it. I'm actually out here in Dumbo doing some work. It's been a few days since my birthday. If you've been following me for a while, you've seen these views before, but obviously I'm gonna show you again because it's beautiful, beautiful views. So like I said, it's been a few days. Between then and now, we went to this new rooftop, which is not as nice as the Ritz, or not as high as the Ritz. It was still a cute little vibe. Two days ago, we went all the way out to Long Island to have brunch at this beautiful, beautiful mansion.
the vibe was beautiful and the house was gorgeous. The food was not so good. <laughs> it was very average. I've had better food at cheaper places, but the actual vibe, and I would do it again just because it was pretty. It was just nice to be out the city and touch some grass. After we went to brunch at that beautiful mansion, you guys, if you live in Long Island or if you are in New York, I would take the trip out there. New York City, Long Island's still New York, but New York City. <laughs> I would take the trip out there just to see the property. It was gorgeous. Anyway, so after we did that and we had the actually kind of average kind of mid food, <laughs> of course I had to go shopping. I wanted to go to Neiman Marcus. What are our thoughts on these flat bodegas? Let me know. I do like the heels on that. I love a good interesting heel. I like those. I've literally been looking at these for years, maybe. <laughs> My husband said they're terrible. <laughs> You mean not completely wrong? Oh, these are the ones I wanted, but in silver. Wow, that is heavy. These little shells or whatever. That is a very well-made bag. That is beautiful. Wow. Pretty, very pretty. For some reason, when I think of designer bags, I never think of Tom Ford. Look at this bag over here. It's a huge bag, but so good. What a cute little work bag. I still really love this bag. I know it's not like at the top of fashion, but I still love it. I was looking at one of the fashion file in a beautiful color for like seven, eight hundred. Really think about getting it. I still love it. Look at this cute little Marc Jacobs bag. This is cute. I like that. Not too much branding, nice and slick. Sleek, <laughs> not slick. I really love the top handle in this. How cute. I probably wouldn't wear it on the chain. Oh, that's cute. I like that. things on my wish list that I saw at Neiman Marcus. I'm sure I showed you a lot. It had those metallic sandals I was looking at, but they didn't have them in silver, and I didn't want them in the other colors, but they did have them if you wanted to go look at that mall. But yeah, uh, it's been a few days, we've been doing things, and now I am back working. If you guys haven't been here or seen this vlog, it was a really nice place to work. Not so much anymore, because so many people have come and it's not as quiet, but if you just want to come for a vibe, if you see behind me, you could sit over there or you can get some food in there. The Time Out Market in Dumbo is like one of, one of my favorite places in New York to come. So yeah, I'm about to go inside and finish this work and I'll see you guys in a bit. girl hey the absolute worst part about getting braids to me is having to take them down it is time to take these braids down and I just I am putting it off so badly I don't even mind getting them done well no that's not true 
I, I don't like to sit down and get them done, but the, at least after I get them done, I know my hair is going to look nice after and I won't have to worry about it for a while. Now I have to take them down and God knows what the next move is with this hair. I really might just get them redone, but I need to make sure I give my hair um, significant breaks between braiding so that I don't get any breakage. Yesterday, I saw House Party for the very first time. was born in the 80s but by the time house party came out I still wasn't old enough to see I don't know what year it came out but maybe I was like five or six I, I have no idea what year it came out but I know that I was young and it wasn't part of my like teenager pre teen age you know I was at that age in the late 90s and um, the early 2000s you know so house party wasn't really on my radar though I know it's something that I should have already seen it's interesting to watch old movies because you really see how far we've come. Some of the things they said in the movie would have never flown in today's age. But anyway, it was nice. We usually go to see the movies in Dumbo with a beautiful view, but because I've never seen House Party, we've never watched movies in Fort Greene. I was like, why not? Really cute experience. I think next week is Black Panther, so maybe we'll go see that too. So anyway, I wanna get to this giveaway. I appreciate you guys for waiting because I know it's been a long time. I want to get to this one so I can get through to the next giveaway. What was interesting about this giveaway is that you had to follow me on Instagram, follow me on YouTube, but you also had to write something that you love about yourself and I had the best time, even though I haven't been able to comment back to everyone yet, I had the best time reading and internalizing um, what you all love about yourself. And I just, it, it was just like tear jerking. <laughs> it was actually really, really amazing. But one interesting thing that stuck out to me was that someone said, they told me what they love about themselves and then asked me what I love about myself or they asked me if I would be sharing as well. And for some reason that took me back and for some reason I had to like stop because I had no intention of sharing what I love about myself. And then when I thought about it, I said maybe I should. You guys are doing it, I should do the same thing. There's something very liberating about sharing what you love about yourself, but also something that makes you feel like you're showing off or something. I am not much of a show off, right? Despite having a YouTube channel and vlogging and wearing very showy things like silver and gold and sparkly things, I, believe it or not, don't like to be the center of attention at all. And it's a weird mix of me wanting to be creative but also not wanting to be <laughs> the center of attention. So having to tell you what I love about myself um, is just cringe but I know that it is a necessary thing because we should all be able to tell the world what we love about ourselves, right? So I'm going to go a twofold. I'm going to start with physically and then I'm going to go to something more deep. Physically. If I'm being honest, what I used to love about myself is my hair. I've always had uh, relatively thick hair. It's always been long, whether it was permed or if it was um, natural, and I'm, I'm still natural. And I still love my hair, but if I'm being completely honest, I am having the hardest time swallowing that I have so much gray hair. So much so that I even look at people who I know are my same age in real life and other influencers and I'm like, do, are they dying their hair? Where's their gray hair? I was recently look at, looking at, um, who, oh, it was Sai. I was looking at Sai's hair because I don't know what popped up, but Sai is older than me and I don't see any gray hair. <laughs> I don't 
see any gray hair. Now she might dye it, or maybe she just has less than me. But my gray hair is definitely something that I don't feel comfortable with yet. And I'm sure that will come with age, right? So I used to say that it was my hair, but now I really feel physically. What I will say now is my dimples, right? I didn't used to like my dimples when I was a kid because I don't, I'm not quite sure why. When I was a kid, I thought it made me look younger. And now I wish somebody would say, oh my God, you look 25. <laughs> Even though no one says that. But there's something about my dimples that are making me feel, uh, that make me feel good. And I appreciate them more now and I'm happy about them, right? I even had this one person maybe 10 years ago, this guy on the train, two people, guy on a train and there was this person in Village Underground. If you're from New York City, you know Village Underground, right? And they were saying to me, talk, saying something to me, talking to me, each of them, and they took their fingers and stuck their finger in my dimple and did this and I was mortified. 10 years ago, I was mortified. Today, I would have went off, <laughs> okay? Um, but I said all of that to say that I do appreciate that and for some reason it was really hard for me not to come up with something that I like about me physically but to say it out loud so there it is and then the thing that i love about myself that has nothing to do with you know looks or anything my ability to really hone in on people's feelings and really care and maybe care too much about the state of everybody else i'm that person that's going to worry about everyone else and try to help everyone oftentimes to my own to my own detriment i i will give you my left shoe if you need my left shoe and i will worry about my shoe when i get back home i am such an empath like i just need everybody to be like i'm, I'm like my tears <laughs> my eyes are getting sweaty right now okay i just want everybody to be okay and if i could help them i 100 percent will that's why i was a teacher and a counselor and i just I want all good things for everybody all the time. So sometimes it is a burden, but I really do love that about myself. Ooh, that is hard. I don't know why that's so hard to say, because I think about it, it's just hard to like say out loud. Anyway, let's get to the giveaway. <laughs> so I went to a uh, YouTube giveaway picker and I did not pick myself because it, it would have been too hard. I have so many of you that really support me and have been with me for so long that it would have been too hard for me to do it myself. But this is the person that the YouTube picker chose. So if you are this person, <laughs> if you are this person, I need you to contact me on Instagram. I'm going to give you one week, so next by next week Sunday, to contact me. If not, we'll choose somebody else. I want to get through this giveaway because I said I was going to do a series of giveaways. I want to get through this giveaway first before we get to the next giveaway. Thank you for everybody who entered. Just know that I appreciate every single one of you and I wish that I can give all of you something i know that you always hear creators say that but i honestly and truthfully truthfully mean it anyway friends i'm going to sign off here i'll show you more things that i got later i have to take these braids out i have to take these braids out <laughs> Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.